Hey, let's take a look at this Irish single malt. It's from one of Ireland's independent distilleries. Stick around if you want to learn more. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio. In this channel, I'm gonna review whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a touch of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try that. So, if you want to see more videos like this and you're interested in all kinds of whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos just like this. So while everybody was out in Texas having a great time or people were just watching the live streams going on, on Saturday, I was here cleaning up the aftermath of a clogged up sewer line so i am more than happy to come back and do a whiskey review for you guys today we have a bottle that my brother danny gifted to me on my birthday a few weeks ago and we opened it up and i've shared it with my neighbor so just giving it enough time to open up because i think this one is one of those whiskeys that will get better with a little bit of air coming into the bottle so here we have the dingle irish single malt whiskey this is batch number four it's a limited release this is their 2019 limited release bottle of only 30,000. yeah only 30,000, but it's way better than last year last year they only had 2,000 bottles out there i think that's a pretty big jump from last year so i can only imagine what's going to happen in 2020. this is triple distilled in pot stills and it's bottled at 46.5 percent abv that's 93 proof and it's non-chill filtered the downside at least to me it'll cost you around 90 dollars. so when my brother handed me this bottle and i was like whoa dude i'm like all right man let's open this up and see what it's all about this is aged in ex bourbon barrels sherry and port cask now i'm not sure if they add coloring to this i'm gonna say maybe not because it is aged in those wine barrels and i know that it usually picks up a good amount of color from there but just in case it doesn't have color i'd say this one's on on the yellow side maybe a goldish kind of maybe with a little bit of a, a red tint coming out but pretty much on the light side i do see some things floating in there and we all know that's because it's not chill filtered so if you see that in your whiskeys don't think that it's like polluted or something just go ahead and drink it up all right the nose on this it's it's pretty pretty different from what I've been used to because I think it's the triple distilled that maybe helps it out a lot but I do get a lot of that wine barrel influence in this you get those dried raisins I get apples I say there's a little bit of a like a pear note but more of an apple hint of a nuttiness also going on a little bit of char also in there but overall, it's it's a very fresh kind of smell. Oaky as well with that char. But yeah, that, that wine influence really comes out on this. Let's see what we get on the palate, guys. Cheers. Excellent stuff here. Again, that wine influence comes through the palate and right after you start getting like those raisins kind of dried fruits you get a nice touch of spiciness like a cinnamon spice some char right after that a little bit minty in the finish I get a nice apricot note also going on a little bit tangy on the sides of my cheeks here It is a little bit dry in the finish, but it's not bad overall. I mean, if you like that dryness, this is going to be right up your alley. The finish is, I'd say it's on the medium side. It just finishes with those dried fruits and that char. Pretty good stuff. Now, I haven't added any water to this yet, so we'll go ahead and add 
just a little bit just one drop let's see what happens and let that sit there just for a little bit let's see if it opens up so the Dingle Whiskey Distillery is owned by three gentlemen, Liam, Peter, and Oliver. Now the story behind this is those three guys uh, opened up a brewery in 1996, a craft brewery to, to be exact. And I guess in Ireland, they just, they're not into craft beers like we are here in the US. So the business didn't really pick up like they anticipated. So what did they do next? Whatever comes natural to everybody, especially the Irishmen. Let's make some whiskey. So they started making these whiskeys and they actually call themselves uh, artisan craft distillers. So they opened up in December of 2012 and their first cask were filled on December 18th. And three years later, cask number two was released. These guys are definitely all about quality over quantity. All right, so let's see what a little bit of water did to this whiskey right here. That certainly opened up a few more notes. I'm getting vanilla this time. You still get that nuttiness, the dried fruits. A little bit more of that maltiness is coming through, like cereal notes coming out. A little bit more earthiness is also coming out. Overall, it, it, it's a, it did improve the nose, so I can only imagine what it's gonna do to the, to the palate. All right, let's see what happens on the palate with one drop of water. Cheers, everybody. Yes. You guys know how I love my spicy notes. That drop of water amplified it times three. It's the first thing I got. It was just all over my tongue. Ooh, awesome. One more sip. Oh, great stuff. Great stuff. I'm glad I added some water to this one. All right. So those peppery notes right up front. After that, I get that apricot, that raisin. All those dried fruits are still there. That char kind of went down a little bit, but it's still there. And then it allowed a little bit of a chocolatey note to come out. That maltiness is also developing on the palate. And I'd say the finish is still on the medium side. I'm still getting that minty freshness on the side of my cheeks here. It's still a little bit dry, but that drop of water really opened up some, some goodness in this. Awesome. So my final thoughts on this whiskey right here, I am definitely glad that my brother decided to pick this one up. He had tried the last batch uh, somewhere at the tasting and he said it was pretty good. So when he saw this, he was like, I'm definitely going to get that for Tony. So, so glad he picked it up. Like I said, we did open it up uh, the next day after my birthday and it was pretty good, but I just I remember the next day when I tried it again, a little bit more flavor, flavors were coming out. So I figured it needed a little bit more time before I had a chance to review it. So I shared some with my neighbor, Chris, and I'm so glad I did because now I can give you guys a full review of what this really has to offer. So for $90, non chill filtered, the ABV on this is awesome. I'd say, this is in the sweet spot for the people that like all these finished kind of whiskeys. $90, but you do get your money's worth. So if you guys get to try this at a bar, definitely give it a shot before you buy one. Unless you don't mind spending the money, it's not gonna disappoint you at all. So having said that, I wanna remind everybody that I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers so I can finally go ahead and open up and taste my infinity bottle right here that I've been pretty much <laughs> I'm, I'm really anxious to, to taste it I have smelled it and it smells pretty good but I made a promise that I was not gonna open it and taste it until I reached them 500 subscribers so I'm planning on doing a live show to celebrate the 500 subscribers and the while I taste this and 
so if you guys can help me out with that by liking this video and sharing it with all your friends and family just give it out to everybody be like check this guy out he does awesome reviews and <laughs> well, you go ahead and drop a comment below let me know what you guys think about the dingle irish whiskey here is this something you've seen before is this something that you want to try and if you've been watching these videos for a while and you like what you're seeing go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos just like this cheers everybody thanks for stopping by i'll see you guys next week great stuff